we have the Highlanders and the Hurricanes. Um, I'll jump into this one. New injuries to report. Highlanders, uh, CGB, Connor garden uh, a calf injury. He was pulled pre-game. Masesi Darwai ran on last week. And for the Hurricanes, Brett Cameron um, came off with a knee injury. Uh, I can't remember. That seems pretty serious, didn't it, Harry? Yeah, I mean, he, Nelson, I remember, was chatting to me about it during the game, and I think his words were, I think he's dead. Um, so it didn't look good. He did eventually get up and walk off relatively comfortably, but yeah, it, it wasn't a good sign. I'm, I'm not confident that he's going to uh, he's going to be back for for a while. Is this a re injury? If remember preseason, he missed the first two or three weeks because he had an, a knee injury. No, nah, look, this was like big traumatic knee injury. I don't think so. I think this is uh, this is just a grim knee injury that I suspect is likely to keep him out for the season. But I guess we got to wait and see what they say when they scan it later this week. Fair enough. All right, for the uh, in returning, we uh, this week is available for selection. Rosie Cheeks himself, Scott Gregory, coming back from a knee injury. Um, so I guess we'll talk about where does he slot in. And then for the Hurricanes, no one really returning except, um, I suppose, those who were rested last week. So Artie Sevilla uh, was rested again last week. So I expect to see him play. Um, and was there anyone else rested or just him, really, I suppose? Well, neither Sevilla played, did they? So we could see two Sevillas back. We could see two Sevillas And uh, Asafa okay. Amour will be Asafa. back, I think, as well. How could I forget my main man? Tyrell Lomax, I think. Oh, no, he was no, back he, last week. He wasn't played. He? He played yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what about uh, Billy Proctor? Was he, was he out injured or did he just have a rest as well? Oh, uh, he, I, he, I hope he was injured because then uh, my mate can keep playing, but I think he was having a rest. Yeah, it's I think he was having a rest, but I hope he wasn't injured and it was a selection choice. That's true. Still... <laughs> yes. All right. Well, look, um, getting to this, let's talk about the Highlanders first. Um the Highlanders have certainly been on the rise, have, have bagged themselves the last three uh, wins after, you know, starting with a few losses at the start of the season, which basically was kind of like they started against some of the harder Kiwi teams and lost all three games. Then they got some more, let's just say, easier matchups in, won those. And now they've got the Hurricanes, who I believe are still second on the table and have put some, have been putting a lot of points on everyone they've been playing, uh, been in some form. So is this going to be a bit of a reality check or... Have they kind of got themselves together? Um, I think certainly they really were wel- welcoming back um, a few players, like their reinforcements. So the likes of Shannon Frizzell and Marino Michele too, who both came off the bench last week, um, have them starting this week. That's pretty phenomenal to have the caliber guys like that um, back in your team. Um, yeah, I, I mean, think that's... What I can I say is awesome. that the biggest loss ever for the Highlanders to the Hurricanes was 36 points. So if it is a reality check, there's your line, boys. <laughs> yeah, the first three weeks. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, I, I think really it's going to be a bit of a reality check. There's been a stark contrast between those first three weeks where they got absolutely belted by the Blues, Crusaders, Chiefs, and these last three weeks where they've done well against the force the Ndrua and Moana, potentially three of the bottom teams in the comp, you know, um, or, or at least, you know, midway down the, the table at best. So I, I think this is for them a big step up. The Hurricanes have won five from six and are, are looking really quite good at the moment. Yes, there's going to be some some changes, especially at 10, things like that we've talked about, but they've got the cavalry back. I, I think this is definitely a, a task you know, for the Highlanders, it might be a bit too much, but this is, you know, where they can prove is it just because they've had easier matchups or are they actually contenders this year? They're not. No. I, I, I just think that um, both teams are going to be pretty close to full strength. Like the Highlanders got so many of their good players back. I think this is actually going to be genuinely a tight contest. I'm looking back last year when they played the Highlanders at home, it was 21 to 22 to the Hurricanes. A very, very close match. And I suspect we're going to probably see more of the same. The uh, the leveler will be the fact that the Highlanders have got rosy cheeks, I think, for sure. Well, speaking of rosy cheeks, where do you see him slotting in? So obviously oh. TJ is playing at 12. Do you see him go in at 13 or are we seeing him on the wing? And I see him at 12 with Tudge outside and give Tudge lots of ball, get him back involved in this game. You want Tudge, you want Thomas Umanga Jensen out in the 13 out in the wider channels? I do. I think he's been a bit too quiet for them. Scott Gregory takes the ball to the line, really injects himself into the game. So he's a bigger body. Him playing at twelve, I, I quite like. 
Um, and then it, it he can kind of force Tudge into the game a little bit better. You say believe. Scott Gregory is a bigger body? No, he's a big body, yeah. Scott Gregory is a big, as in he's a bigger body in general, not necessarily bigger than Thomas Emmanuel Jensen. He's, okay, he's, a big say, body. Mate, he's a winger and nobody's bigger than Thomas Emmanuel Jensen. But... He's not small. <laughs> he's yeah, me and 85. And ninety five kilo. I was about to say, mate, he's not huge. Yeah, and well, that's dri- and that's dripping wet as well. I would suspect he does. He does look chunky. I'll give him that. But uh, look, I I I, just, I hope that it's the touch and, and rosy cheek centenarian because I mean, what a name. But I suspect with Mazesi Darwai and kind of Garden Bash up in the competition on wing, we might actually see rosy cheeks playing on one wing, and they just seem to really like Josh Timo as well. I was about to say, is Josh Timo, he's not injured, is he? He, he, he was injured, but he, he's probably... Yeah, um, I, I thought he was a concussion. Yeah, so um, he might be back available for selection. Yeah, so he should be back. Yeah. Well, so, you know, Thomas and Mike Jensen, 187 centimetres, so two centimetres taller and only 95 kgs. That's Thomas and Jensen that is 100% close. over 100 kilos. There's no way... He'd be, he he'd be he 105, maybe 107. That was a birth. Those he's stats were at birth, mate. You found his birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he's 110 100%. kilos. Thomas among a Jensen. There's no, I'm not having it. He's 110. He might look too big at the moment. Yeah, that might be his issue, actually. He I'm wearing at 107 up. for the record. Nelson, you can never be too big, just letting you know that to begin with. But um, no, no look, let's, let's round out the Highlanders here. I think um, the only other one is does Masesi Dawai get some more game time? Or, um, uh, I mean, you know, do who else? I mean, who else do they roll out there? Oh, I mean, right. If they didn't rosy cheeks, they could, you know, put anyone. Want to go and mash it would be the other one. I, I thought Darwai looked pretty good. But, yeah, I think Conor Garden Bash is just more versatile on the bench as well. Yeah, And they've got yeah. so many good back rowers at the moment. It's hard. How can you not go for a 6-2 bench when you have so many back rowers in form? Yeah, yeah, that is true. Um, um, Borgato, he's gone as well, Harry, isn't he? He's with his he's gone his quad. Yeah, he's got a quad tear. Yeah, because he's another guy that's, you know, waiting the wings for them out wide. Um, Sam Gilbert. You know, he's obviously we we sticking him at fifteen. He's not converting to to play a wing at any time. Mm. Uh, Jonah Nareki, he's he's been pushed back. He's far far away still by the looks of it. I think they're saying week eleven at best. Um, oh, yeah. The, so the only other question I had for the Highlanders is who's their best hooker? You know, I think at the start of the season we would have said it's Andrew Macaleo all day, but they seem to be rotating them. At, you know, at will. There's Reese Marshall. There's Lenny Apisai. It's like, mate, what's going on? They don't know. Yeah, but but just can we have a pick and stick, please? It seems like they've just got no idea there. I mean, we'll stick with Macalero, please. The bowling ball that is in my side, <laughs> guys. Uh, Aiden Morgan is he going to get the ten jersey? Ruben Love should be back around fit now as well. Is there an opportunity for him, or, or even Harry Godfrey? Who's uh, I know he played fullback last week, but he's a ten. The young young Harry Godfrey, or or even Jordy Barrett. <laughs> Surely, surely Godfrey doesn't now get thrust into 10 when they have so many players there. It makes no sense whatsoever. Well, Ruben Love, I've started to think that they're they're only looking at uh, as a fullback option. Uh, They said in the preseason they saw him as a 10 or a 15 and definitely as a 10 option. So I don't don't think so. I don't think so. Harry Godfrey, for the record, is only 20 years old. He's 85 kilos, 175 centimetres. The man's a giant, like rosy cheeks. (laughs) <laughs> so, and touch. so you're saying he's about, he's bigger than uh, the recent Wallaby call up Jorgensen. So he's fine, mate. Yeah, right. yeah. So I know I agree. Look, I, I'd be surprised if they don't run Aiden Morgan out of ten. Um, you'd have to think that would be your best bet. Yep. I think so. Good. But um, yeah, you could well see. It'd be good to see Ruben Love on, on the bench and getting back involved, uh, offering that utility. But um, yeah, I, for Aiden, Aiden Morgan would be it for mine. Um, and otherwise, I don't know. I, I mean. I don't know why last week they rolled out um, Dan Stinkinson or as Nelson's put in here, Stinkinson. Um, like you've got Keeney Naholo. Uh, you know, often I've talked about Vunavalu leaving a Ferrari, uh, you know, it parked in the garage on the bench. Mate, you got Keeney Naholo. You're not leaving the Lambo on the bench when you're running out Stinkinson. Hey, Keep Keeney Naholo game time. What are you Naholo, doing? I said it earlier and I'll say it again. Naholo is over severe at the moment. Have that man on the wing. Simple yeah. as that. So I expect to see him back this week. Uh, and and hopefully, look, we're going Sullivan. If, if you're leaving Jordy Barrett at 12, which likely they are, stick with Sullivan over Proctor. I don't care if Proctor is the brother of the best centre in the world. No, mate. Didn't you see the title from last week's episode? He's the new best centre in the world. I saw it, mate. And, I just, and we also forget like, how good he has been playing, though. He's, he's been exceptional. Been he's been so good. He's been so good. It's been, good. been, so good. It's been, it's been good. crazy. But Bale and Sullivan, mate, come on. 
It is. It's it got the head that you need at thirteen. I, don't know if I think what, what you things. want is you actually want them to drop Keane in a hole and put Bale and Sullivan on the wing. That's what you want, actually. Nah, Bale and Sullivan's so good at outside. But uh, Cam Roygaard surely gets a start over Jamie Booth as well. I like Jamie Booth, and uh, and I've always been a big fan, but Roygaard's form has been outrageously good. So, sure, he's coming exactly. back in after a rest and starting. Absolutely. I agree. All right, look, let's uh, let's push on to some tips. Uh, Nels, do you want to... Do you want me to go first? I'll go first yet. All right, I'll go first on this one. Um, Hurricanes are going to win this comfortably. Don't know what the line is, which is what Harry's currently looking up. But I'm going to say Hurricanes by... I'm going to go 26. It's big. Whoa, mate. Big. (laughs) That is not what the line is. I can tell you that. 25. Let's just put down one. Oh, sorry. We talked you down. All right. Don't don't bring it back too far for us, mate. No. Um, Look, I'm going to maybe go big but not stupid big and say the the canes by 10 so more more than a try. how many 10. 10 18 jesus christ i'm going hurricanes by he seven said, he, he said 10 he said 10 10 okay i'll go hurricanes by seven i'm a we know you guy because that's what the betting companies are suggesting i'm a reasonable think guy yourself. think yourself i'm a reasonable guy 